should we go to? They're all spooky. I'm gonna pick that one over on across the street. Yeah, oh, what the? Hey, sorry about that. Oh, shut up. Forty years ago, on Halloween night, Michael Myers murdered three people. After that horrific night, he was sent back to the institution in captivity. to Haddonfield, his home. I need to protect my family. You have no security system, Karen. Mom, you need help. Evil is real. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this night. I've been preparing for this for a long time. It is not safe to be on the street tonight. He's here. He is a killer. But he will be killed tonight. Happy Halloween, Michael. Here, get downstairs. Go, baby, go! The boogeyman? All this hiding, all this preparation, it was for nothing. I mean, it took priority over your family. It cost you your family. If the way I raised your mother means that she hates me, but that she's prepared for the horrors of this world, then I can live with that. Say goodbye to Michael and get over it. Michael Myers is a human being who killed his sister when he was six years old. And he came after you. We just want to know why. We want a glimpse inside his mind. Michael Myers murdered five people. And he's a human being we need to understand. They're transferring him. Tomorrow, seven o'clock. Yeah, he'll be locked away until the end of his days. That's the idea. <laughs> Laurie, we saw him. We met with Michael. I showed him the mask. It was nothing. No response, nothing. He won't talk to anyone. Never has, but... but I think he might speak with you. Happy Halloween, Michael. 
Was sie gerade. He waited for this night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Michael Myers is the embodiment of pure evil. He is ruthless. A relentless force. He's unpredictable. Anyone could be next. Dad, look out! Babysitter murders 40 years to this day. Michael! Jamie has a talent, but she was born with it. You don't believe in the boogeyman? Perfect for the movie I made. And now she's perfect for David Gordon Green's movie. You should. This is as good as I've seen since we did the first movie. It is intense. And just brutal. Testing one, two, three. We're on. We're here to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on Halloween in 1978. He was shot by his own psychiatrist and taken into custody that night. And spent the last 40 years in captivity. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. <laughs> Everyone in my family like turns into a nutcase this time of year. I mean, your grandmother is Laurie Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babysitters? No, it was not her brother. That's something that people made up. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Bus crashed. Mom, what bus crashed? Michael escaped. Excuse me, somebody's in here. Hello? for this night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Get out! Go home! Get inside! You don't believe in the boogeyman? He's here! Michael! You should. Can you close the closet door? The sound of Halloween is so iconic, we had to have his blessing. We had to have a John Carpenter score. I think the original theme sits so comfortably with the film and its simplicity. It's almost like Jaws. You don't need the symphony to tell you how to feel. My father taught me five, four times. Bop, 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 bop. I thought it would be perfect for the movie. I listen to his soundtracks all the time. There's nothing better than driving your car and pretending like you're in a John Carpenter film. I got to play with the original themes of Halloween. Take the original score and modernize it with new sounds and new approaches. I got to work with my kids, which is a big joy in my life. It's cool to be with John continuing that legacy. I don't think you can have a real Halloween movie without my dad. What we wanted to do was make a scary movie, and that's all we cared about. It is going to scare the shit out of you. I guarantee it. <laughs>